Mitchell drifting wide, but he also saw Dave Hewitt there. He targeted him. Judge the pass. This is great defence by Carter. He caught Joe Wilson and ankle tapped Gitto, who slid over beautifully. Well. Oh, I guess the first thing I remember is the way that we got out to such a good lead. It was a little bit surprising for us. Um, everything we seemed to do in that first half worked. Um, they made a couple of mistakes. We turned those mistakes into seven pointers down the other end of the field. So uh, I just remember us getting off to a good start, and then it was just a matter of holding on. And you know, right near the end of the game, they were attacking for the last felt like 20 minutes of the game, and I still remember the feeling of just trying to hold on, like we'd sort of given up. Any chance of scoring any more points and we were just trying to hold them out. The turnover here it was, right here. Caleb Ralph caught, isolated, in fact. George Smith freed the ball and then it was just move it like they've done all season. Larkin through the hole, the kick ahead, and have a look at this. So close, so close to the touchline. Ben Blair a little bit casual, perhaps. I don't know perhaps about it. And Joe Roth, he knows where the try line is. Well, what a start. What a start, Tony Johnson. Nisbo, there's a pub in the middle of Canberra that was offering free beer until the first try of the game, starting with the kickoff, and I think they're in for a cheap night and uh, probably a pretty uh, convivial night if this keeps up. 7 to 0. Gregan Wakes looking blindside to Paul. Now Smith back on the inside. Gerrard! And uh, they're in again. Goodness me. Matt Gerrard. Who would have read about it, eh? Absolutely incredible start, Brumbies. The crowd is going absolutely crazy. Well, I think traditionally it's been the best New Zealand side against the, the best Australian side. Uh, we had a really good record there for a period in terms of making the finals. Um, obviously the Crusaders have won seven finals, we've only won two. But for a long time they were regarded as the best New Zealand side. They've probably slipped off that mantle a little bit, but nonetheless they're still a very dangerous attacking side and they're probably better than where they're, they're sitting on the table at this stage. So it was always that matchup, the best New Zealand side versus the best Australian side. Uh, not only that, they had a number of All Blacks in their side and we always had a number of Wallabies in our side. So it was sort of um, two fairly evenly matched teams going at one another. In his last game, and there's a turnover just like that. Away goes Bregan. Again, it's Gerard down the left wing side. It's got support from Gregan. Back to Jeremy Paul. And hang on. Yes, no. Andre Watson had the arm up before the try was scored, but he's awarded it. Jeremy Paul gets try number three. Well, the players in the race there were Chris Jack and Greg Somerville. What a clever kick. Not the first time I've seen George Smith do this. And uh, Samo was a big part of the build-up. Now have a look at Smith. Clever kick. And Gerard coming from right of screen here. Chris Jack and Greg Somerville, the last line of defence, had no hope with the winger. And uh, Gerard gets his second. 24 to nil. That... Roth couldn't get his kick away. Now Smith. Here goes Bart Follemius. He's got support from oh, Joe Roth. Right. And that might be the one that does it. Joe Roth, he sets a new record. This is boys' own stuff. Joe Roth sets a new Super 12 try scoring record and probably enough to give the Brumbies the title. Well, it's a fitting climax for a great rugby player. He has been a wonderful rugby player for the Brumbies. Deserves the record. So often, the man in the right spot. Well, they love him here. And didn't they go berserk when he scored? It was pretty good. It was it was really tense um, coming down to the last couple of minutes. They were right on our line. I think they were oh, about nine points behind us. So if they'd scored a try, there was still a chance they could get back down the other end and score another try. So yeah, it was really tense. That last five minutes of the game was really tense. So there was a lot of 
jubilation and excitement in the team at that stage. And so the game is over. The Brumbies have won the Super 12 title in 2004. They led 33-0 at one stage, and they finished up victory. A lot of emotion here because so many players leaving. Well, it's been a great example to world rugby in some respects. The creation of a team from nothing, absolutely nothing. When I look at the uh, the players who took the field tonight, the starting lineup only one player was born here in Canberra. Stephen Larkin is his name. The creation of a side, a mighty side. The succession plan for a period of time, but the key, I think, is the nucleus remained. I think we're definitely back on the track to, to where we finished up from 96 to 2004. Um, you know, we, we built a really strong foundation the first couple of years and then we had a period of success sort of 2000 to 2004 consistently in the finals. Um, you know, losing some semi-finals, final, winning two finals through that period. Um, we were probably at the top of our game by the end of 2004. Uh, really experienced side and really gelling well together. Uh, and I feel that this team is is certainly on that road now. We, we just missed out on the finals last year and I feel we're travelling a lot better than we were last year. So uh, it's very exciting to see where we're going to go.